your reach or your engagement on social media changed at all in the last couple months? Even more recently, have you not seen nearly as much uh, interaction or reach on your pages and especially on Instagram? Well, if you are even shaking your head or you're saying, oh my goodness, I've seen a change, you're not the only one. It is happening across the board. So there's a lot of ways that we as marketers, as brands, how do we keep getting our content in front of all of our audiences? And by the way, good to see you over there on Instagram. We're going live today. And I'm also also live on Facebook. So you guys can find me on Facebook as well, my Unstoppable Mama page. We're talking about omnipresence. So as you guys are coming on, I wanna, want you to start thinking about something. What is the last time you saw content, right? Let's see, let's use uh, someone like Gary Vee, for example, right? How many of you guys are watching Gary Vee and you're just seeing his stuff everywhere? I mean, literally, you're seeing his edited films, you're seeing constant amounts of content everywhere from Gary Vee, whether it's through Instagram, I mean, you know, if you watch him at all, he's on every single platform. But how many of us have time to market on every platform or to have our content everywhere all the time? Well, it's a lot more difficult, isn't it? Especially if you're a solopreneur or you're just early stage of building your business, or maybe you do have a social media marketing manager and they have a plan and they're just posting for you, but it's not landing. Well, we just got some recent news and updates from Facebook and the algorithms have really changed. And that means that all of your content, your branded content, your message, is really not being seen by as many people anymore. In fact, over 10, oh, probably more than 10 times the amount of eyeballs that you used to have, you're no longer getting. And the sad part is it even is on lives. Now, even right now today, during this show, after the, I run this show, there could be some of you guys live, but guess what? Maybe most of you are not seeing this live. Why is that? Well, early on when Facebook launched, especially in an Instagram, they used to be giving anyone lots of extra attention when, they're, you, when you would go live. How many of you guys remember that? Like, you'd go live and it was like, Brr! they were telling everyone. Because they were, if you were tagging someone, they were sharing their content, you were being seen by everyone. But now, on pages, Facebook's gotten a little more greedy. And let's totally be honest, if you're a branded content, Facebook's now starting to get more greedy because they're why? They want you to pay for your marketing. They want you to pay to play. Now, if any of you now are running your business, right? That's why you're here. Because so we talk about sexy brands. We talk about how to get in your message across of a clean, clear, concise message, a sexy message, image, message, and strategy on how to get in front of people. And if that's your point of what you're trying to do, but no one's seeing it, what do we do? Many of you guys are running your business on a personal page, but guess what? Facebook is now cracking down. They're actually blocking us from running or talking about business on our personal page. So again, we're going back to them being greedy, right? They're saying, you can't run your business on your personal page because of course that's where we're getting all the attention. And now you can't, you're not, we're not gonna give you eyeballs on your pages or your Instagram um, feeds because we want you to pay for it. What do we do? So today's topic is about creating not only omnipresence, but having what I like to call a vortex of content that allows your viewers to see your brand, to know exactly what you do, and to consistently see your content. But how do we actually do that? Well, there's a couple things I want to give you guys some instant tips today. There is a number one spot that you need to be focusing on. Now, if anyone's watching this and you're watching it live or you're in the comments, you're watching it on Instagram, where do you think people are actually watching your content? Where are they consuming right now? Well, we know that it actually used to be lives, right? And it still is, but there's definitely ways, I'm gonna show you guys ways to leverage these lives. Do you remember what I just said? Is that you may not even be watching this live right now because you didn't get to see it, but there's a way that all of you are gonna see how you can get thousands of followers and eyeballs on your lives, and I'll show you that afterwards. That's called the open loop. I just threw that topic at the top, of the, uh, at the top over here. We'll make sure we pull it back down later. The number one spot right now is stories you guessed it facebook stories instagram stories i'm live also now on instagram i never go live on instagram actually i'm going to start doing my shows not only on instagram but my shows are now showing up on youtube they're showing up of course on facebook they're showing up in my stories why people are 
thumb stoppers. They're looking for quick and instant consumable content. Now, let me ask you, how many of you guys are focusing on stories? And let me ask you another question. If you're a business owner, are you using stories? So in the comments down below, let me know if you're using stories. If you are a consumer, are you spending time in stories? Are you scrolling through Facebook and you see at the very top you're consuming their story? Same thing with Instagram. They're making it so easy. All the stories are at the very top of your feed. And what happens? We're starting to thumb stop through it and go quickly through content. Why guys? It's so competitive right now. So you, as the brand, you, as the marketer, has to be smart. So that means if you're not in stories and someone is consuming through fun, interesting content, you are now losing more than 10% of your audience, even probably hundreds and thousands percent of your audience, because you're not in the platform where Facebook and Instagram is focusing on, all right? So remember, when we would do lives, we were like, whoa, oh my gosh, we created a complete process and a system on how to use and leverage lives, and we were getting tons of eyeballs, because that's where Facebook wanted you to go. Now they want you to go in stories. So if you're not going to stories right now, you are going to be missing over 10% of the eyeballs and the content. All right, are you guys using stories over here? What about here on Facebook? Right? Instagram stories right now are the hot spot, but there's ways to use them. Now, if you are on Instagram, you probably watch my stories here on my Instagram stories from Unstoppable Mama. This is where I really talk about branding. But Unstoppable Family and my daughter, Hanalei Swan, she's getting thousands and thousands of eyeballs because we are heavy in stories. And I was never really heavy on my Instagram page in stories because I didn't think people wanted it. I didn't think they were going there. But we go heavy in stories on Facebook. So now what's happening is this. We have to hit, go heavy on your stories, but most importantly, it has to be congruent content. Congruent posted content. That means if you have a brand or if you have a topic, everyone relies on you when they see what your page is about, right? Whether it's Instagram or it's Facebook. But what if in your stories, you are, you know, let's say you run an auto business, but you're showing stuff about your kids at church. You're showing stuff about your cats. You're losing your audience. I listened to uh, one of the top podcasts this morning, and they said, uh, um, what's her, Sue Zimmerman said, why we're seeing such a decrease in people's story values is because they're not making their, their uh, content congruent with their brand. That means whether it's on pages or it's on Instagram, or on Facebook, if your content isn't congruent with your brand and stories, people are passing you by. Why? Because you give them a bio on Instagram, you give them your, what you're all about on your, on your Facebook page, and if all of a sudden your content completely changes and you are not consistently in front of them, they're gonna bypass you. And if your audience doesn't consistently, on a daily basis, watch and flick through your content, your stories, guess what? You are being dropped to the very bottom of the algorithm. That means if you notice on Instagram, you'll see the stories at the top. Your top people that you engage with and you watch stories for are the ones that show up. But you'll notice that's the same thing that happens for you. If you are not creating content, that means using graphics, that means using swipe ups or on Facebook, linking, connecting, and sharing what your, your content is about consistently, you are going to be dropped to the bottom of the algorithms. And that's why you'll see right now on Facebook pages, a drastic decrease in visibility. Mark Zuckerberg just was at a big conference it was about, a, about two weeks ago, and he announced it. And he said, we are now, of course, the way Mark Zuckerberg talks, is like, we are now um, only showing content and brands, people that, that we want it to be social. So we want it to be brands that are interacting. Ding, ding, ding. As a marketer, I immediately thought about, well, how am I interacting with my audience? Think about it. How are you interacting with your audience? If you are on a Facebook page, right? You have a business page, like I'm running my show here. My show also syndicates. And there's talk, I'm gonna um, actually be able to show slides today on how to syndicate your content and become omnipresent. But if you are on your page and you are not actually interacting, okay? So social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram created their the personal pages so you personally interact with your audience, right? 
That means you, maybe your mom, your friends, your kids, whatever that might be on your personal page. That's what they want it to be is they want it to be social. So if you are making a post and you're doing video, but you're not interacting with your commenters or you're not going to other people's content as a personal page, guess what? Your personal page is no longer being seen. In fact, they're only showing about 6% of your audience is seeing your content. But now let's talk about us as business owners. What about our business content? What's happening there? Exact same thing. This is why your page uh, engagement and page views and reach has gone down drastically. Are you going to other pages and commenting as your page, as your brand? If you're not doing that, same thing with stories, your content and your page all the way down to the bottom. That means they're not showing it because why? They want you to pay to play. But there's a couple sneaky things I'm going to show you guys today on how to become omnipresent, how to trick the algorithms a bit, and how to showcase your content in a congruent fashion, consistently, right? I'm looking at my board here, congruency. And guys, being on brand, okay? Being on brand, whether it's in stories, whether it's in posts, your content has to be on brand. And if you now begin to maintain your consistency, right now, if I post just a regular post here on my Unstoppable Mama page, it is like crickets. Like it used to get thousands of views. It's like crickets now. So how do we trick the algorithms and get our brand and get our content in front of the right people and in front of the right eyeballs without overly paying to play? I hate to tell you guys, but this is the game. You are gonna have to pay to play in order to get yourself in front of more people. But let's talk about ways that we can trick those algorithms. Remember how I said I was throwing that content at the very top, how to actually become omnipresent and taking one piece of content, but showcasing it across all your platforms. That's what Gary Vee is doing. He's not just creating uh, pounds and pounds and tons of content, Certainly Gary Vee is a content producer, but what he's doing is he's taking and he's syndicating the right content to the right people on a consistent basis. Now, let me just share with you, how many of you have started, right? You're, 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 maybe you're producing content, you're a storyteller, you're doing great posts, you have a business, maybe you're running some ads, and then you stop. What happens? Did you know that we as marketers and as brands are solving problems for our clients? But what happens if you crack the problem for your customer and your client by using a great video and having maybe a great live and great stories, but then you completely drop, meaning you stop with your content or you don't follow through with your content or they go, let's say, to your Instagram page and it's just crickets. It's not congruent with what they just saw on Facebook or same thing on Instagram or maybe they're just consumers on Instagram. They saw your badass story and they went to your timeline. And it's just what? If you are not creating omnipresent content that is congruent in your client, your followers' eyes, guess what? Subconsciously, they're gone. Subconsciously. How many times has it taken many of you to click through to buy something or to follow someone or to engage? Right now, the numbers are astounding. In fact, it's about up to 19 times someone has to see your content before they actually click on it or take an action. That's actually scary, isn't it? To think that if you're a business or you're a brand, that you are producing enough content and you're consistently showing your content, but people are watching and they've got to see it 19 times. How are you guys going to create and sell something? Or how are you going to take measurement on what my cost per lead is or my cost per acquisition. Now those could be uh, labels that, and names or something you guys don't understand what that is because you're not paying to play yet. But how do we then as a business get in front of the right people and measure how many times people have seen my information? How many times people have consumed my content? That means you've got to have your message on Facebook congruently, on Instagram congruently. You've got to have it on your stories, on YouTube, LinkedIn. If you're using Twitter, I'm not a big Twitter fan, some people are, if you're using Twitter, TikTok is the new big one. Everyone's saying you gotta get on TikTok because it's, you know, that's where everyone's playing at. If you're not having congruent content, guess what? As a business, 
people are gone. You're doing a lot of the heavy lifting for someone else. If you crack the problem that they've got and they came to, let's say, um, I mean, you know, one of your Facebook posts, but that you didn't consistently show up in front of their face consistently, like you know what you're talking about, they're bypassing you. They're bypassing. And someone else is gonna come in and right after you, talk about the same topic, guess what? They're picking up all of your heavy lifting and boom, that person's gonna buy from them. Actually, I, I, and let me know if you guys have seen this because you know, if you are with an Azure brand and your content is in front, Someone else that has a similar offer that brings up the exact same content, that's another hint. Talk about what other people are talking about, right? Use content that other people are talking about because then now if you have an offer, they're gonna pick it up. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually switch my slides over. If you guys are here, I'm actually gonna turn some slides over um, from Instagram into Facebook. And you guys will be able to watch this full uh, slideshow because it'll be on YouTube in 24 hours. It'll be in my stories in 24 hours. It's gonna be reposted on Instagram in 24 hours. Because I know now this content I'm producing has to be seen more and more. Now, we've created a process called our 21-day plan process that allows you to create content on a consistent basis with, with topics that you know how to deliver, with an outline you know how to deliver, and create omnipresence. But we now have to take it a little step farther. And that's where we create what's called the, I call it the syndication vortex, right? Where we are actually creating a vortex of our content and it's being syndicated across all of our platforms. So if you're on Instagram, come on over to see me on Facebook on there and you can search Unstoppable Mama on Facebook pages because I'm going to show my slides right now. Otherwise, you guys will get to see this show after, after it's edited by my team. So now, how are you guys doing this, right? Like here, if you don't have a team and you're producing your content, how are you creating and taking your content and letting it be omnipresent? Most of you guys are going to lose a lot of business. So there's a little process that we put together. It's called the 21 day plan. In fact, um, if you guys want to get access to the 21 day plan and our uh, 30 day uh, uh, syndication vortex, how to take your content everywhere, you can go to Swan Links and join the 30 day challenge because we're bringing, I'm giving you guys all these exact stages and steps and concepts of how to do that. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to share my screen and I'm going to show you guys how to take one piece of content, literally one piece of content that you're producing, like right now, a Facebook Live or an Instagram Live, and turn it into branded, remember I talked over here, on brand, congruent content that has more eyeballs. You get 10, time, 10 times more eyeballs, tricking a little bit of these algorithms, because in order for us to get the eyeballs, we actually have to be in front. And what happens? You've got to actually look at this brand you gotta look at the brand and you have to let them know it's you consistently, not just your face, but the look and the feel of your brand. So if you guys know me at all, you know that I'm, everything's sexy. It's all this hot pink, right? And I've got lips, I use the lips a lot, right? But it's because I'm branding myself. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple things and how to actually take this content and syndicate it across all the platforms because literally, you've got to get smart. We don't have more time. We have to get smart. Now, I'm gonna make sure that Larcy, my, um, my assistant, uh, tells me if my slides don't change. Because yes. if my slides don't, th thank you. Just let me know if they don't as I'm flipping through. And that way you guys can keep following. So this is the syndication vortex, right? Now, there's only, uh, what do we got? Well, six, eight uh, platforms right here, right? Eight platforms. Oh, there's a lot more, but certainly these are kind of the highest ones. Right now, we just, we know people are consuming content on podcasts. They're in Instagram, thumb stopper content, right? LinkedIn is big if you're a business as well. Of course, Facebook, and then spending, uh, spreading your content through email. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you how you can take and utilize our process. It's called the 21 day plan process, how to take 21 live or recorded videos and turn it into 168 pieces of content. V Gary V style guys, this is what's happening. And this is how you can actually compete with some of the big, big guys, right? And that is by producing quality content that is on brand on point following an outline. If you guys notice when I got in, I did something very specific. I did something very specific for not only uh, the algorithms to know and to, to catch on my keywords and move my content in front of the right people, but I also have to trigger your, your thought process. I mean, I had to grab your attention. Because remember, all we're doing is competing right now and is 
attention. That's what the name of the game is. We're competing on attention right now. And if you're not doing and following a very specific outline, which I give you inside of my 21 day plan, then you're going to miss that first six seconds of keeping people engaged. And I actually did this on this film and I do it on all of my films. All right, so let's get into this. How can we create omnipresence, a vortex of content? First, it starts off with the content pyramid. All right. Now, again, you guys can watch me over on Facebook because I'm actually, um, showing my slides here on Facebook and I'll be putting them on Instagram. All right, first off, it's the content pyramid, right? It's gotta have a pillar of content, a big pillar at the very top. You have to create one uh, piece of content. Now for me, it's my show, it's a vlog, it's a live show like this. This show here is gonna turn into, this specific show is gonna turn into over 30 pieces of content. How am I gonna do it? Let me show you right now. All right, number one is you have to create a document pillar content, right? Something like I said, a long, a show, an interview, a vlog. Next is you repurpose it into micro bits of content, right? Short form pieces, memes, images, quotes, fun stuff, right? And then we distribute it across social media platforms. Now again, if you use all the social media platforms and you use syndication uh, software like Hootsuite, which is awesome, that allows you to schedule content and distribute it across the board, it works, but guess what? It actually works a little bit more differently because people, when you are actually there as you drop your content and you're engaging with them right away, that's how you're getting more eyeballs. And that's when Facebook and you're tricking the algorithms because you're commenting right away. So if you're not commenting when you drop your content because you're using a syndication platform, you're losing more than half of your engagement and your following because they're not going to show it to them because the algorithms are thinking that they are not social. It's not a social post. It's a marketing post. You following me? So I, I, we use Hootsuite sometimes, but I actually utilize my team and myself to post on all of these platforms and they do them manually because now I know when they drop, I have a time that they drop and I comment immediately on them. So now let's look at it. So number one, okay, I'm going to give you guys the steps. I'm giving everyone the steps over here on Facebook if you're on Instagram. Number one is the establish the pillar content. What is your pillar content, right? Is it a video? Most likely it should be because IGTV is sucking those up. Facebook as well, live, because there's a way that we have to take this live afterwards and get those thousands of eyeballs, not by just paying to play. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys that afterwards. Number two is establish what it is, right? Now again, show content is some of the best live video or live shows because this show can also turn into a podcast, right? Because I'm giving content. So for me, this is it. Number one, it's a daily live, and in our 21-day plan, I teach you how to do daily lives, how to create engagement, how to follow a, a specific structure. Second is for me, it's my Help Me Rhonda show. I do this once a week, every Wednesday at nine o'clock Eastern. That's why you guys are here. Third is speaking events, fireside chats for interviews. That's the content I use for my pillar. Let me show you what I mean. Now, you can see this here. Now, next is creating micro content. So remember how I said this is going to turn into about six pieces of content? Why is that? Because I'm going to take one large piece of content, I'm going to micro cut, chop it up into mini micro content. It's effective. It goes in stories where we know 10 times more eyeballs right now are showing up in stories. That's where they've asked us to be, right? And if you're not there and your content, this is too long for me to put a whole show on a story. So how am I going to actually do a show that's 30 to 60 minutes long, and then go to stories all day long. How do I do it? Well, you've got to take one piece, just like this pillar, and you've got to break it up and turn it into branded content. So it's visibly yours. It looks sexier than just a normal walk and talk live. And it's content that people are, have been seeing. So for instance, you're watching the show. If you go to my Instagram and you see my stories or my Facebook stories, this same conversation is going to show up there. If it's not, remember those 19 touches? If it's not, they're going to miss and you're going to, they're going to overlook your content and they're going to go find someone else because they get one touch there, one touch there. They're going to see 19 more people that talked about this similar content and then they're going to buy. So we've got to keep them in our space, right? So now once we've got that content, now it's a pillar and it turns into micro. Right, see this right here? This was a show I hosted with one of my guests. Another great way to grow your audience and your eyeballs, 
bring on guests. I do this almost every week here in my show. Why? Because our guests are going to share it with their guests. Our guests are going to share it with their audiences because they're on a show. They're on a podcast. They're on and speaking with you and they're going to share it. So that's another great way to get more eyeballs is to bring on guests onto shows and now start to uh, extend this and turn it into micro content. Now, interesting, isn't it? If you notice my show, do you see how the difference is on this image? Look at how branded that is. It's my color. See, it's got my link. It's got my at follow sign. I use it in Instagram stories. I use it in Facebook stories and I use it on my Instagram page and my Facebook page. But the content actually has to look different. So now once we started to distribute this content, that's step number three, we now have to have this content distributed across the micro areas. So if your pillar content, my pillar is Facebook Live. I do a Facebook Live, I extract the audio and I turn it into a podcast audio. It goes immediately on YouTube and then on Instagram. That's my pillars. But then if you wanted to break that, those pillars down, you can then break those down and bring them down to the micro content in the micro spaces of, of social, right? Articles are a great way. If you're writing articles, do your videos, turn it into a blog post. But how do you just do all of that at once? So now what we got to do is do this. We're taking now and we're getting that pillar content. We're setting up the right times. We have to know the times when we distribute it. So I do my Facebook lives and my shows at nine o'clock Eastern, but I certainly am not, don't have time to syndicate this content immediately. Do I? So it takes me 24 hours and we then break it up into sexier content that is visible. So that means all of you are watching this. This is going to turn into, if you notice here, this is on my YouTube channel right? This is now going to turn into a branded piece of content that matches my brand colors, my brand image, and it's branded with my logo. And of course, it's also something that someone sees this show today, it's going to be repurposable, but only one show. So this was one show right here. It was one piece of content, number one, right? Now we're sending it through. I'm going to bring it down here. Take, take a look at this one. So now this was a, a live that I did right right here and it matches my brand i broke this live up into three pieces this is a 15 minute live these shows are going to go into eight different pieces which can be then repurposed and reused so now we've got the title at the top we've got the captions the captions is another huge way you've got to create captions because people are not listening most of us are laying in bed flipping through stories right and by the way guys i'm over here on facebook live as well now i'm showing my slides i was actually showing you guys i'm talking to my instagram audience right now you can also find me on unstoppable mama on facebook pages i'm showing some slides right now how to syndicate this content but get ready it's going to show up in my stories tomorrow just for you guys right so you see how this happens now if you're laying in bed in the morning right are you actually listening do you have headsets in Maybe you've got your partner there, your kids in the room. No, you're consuming content and you're reading the captions. So you've got to take the next level from that pillar content. Add the captions, add your branded, branding on there. Break it up to small micro pieces, add your logos. A lot of you guys are going, man, that's a lot of content, isn't it? How am I gonna do this? How am I actually gonna get this done myself? Take a look at this, this is one show for me. Did you just see that? It was one show. On the left, it's a podcast, that's an audio. In the center, it was, the actual show that I hosted on Instagram, broken up into a five-minute IGTV. Next one on the right-hand side was my YouTube video that I also sent through my email. How many touches already? That's already four touches, right? Then on the left-hand side, it got repurposed again on Facebook, and it became a Facebook premiere because it was edited sexier than right now right now is live but guess what remember i told you earlier i threw it up in the wall and said i'm going to go back to how i'm going to take this live and get thousands of eyeballs this is how i take this live i bring it back in then we do a watch party we share it we send it again through email we send it again and syndicate it through our stories and what do we do we boost some traffic right if if it's going to be a a guest that you had you send these files to your guests you let your guests know that you've made all this amazing uh, syndicated content and they share it. They share it with their stories. So this is how you become a better marketer and you get your content syndicated more with more eyeballs tricking the algorithms, not paying to play because you are now being seen. 
but it's got to trick the subconscious of your buyer. They've got to go, oh, that's new, right? It's not new. It's just branded. They're reading it now. They know what the topics are now. Do you see how this is working? Left-hand side, look at the center. That's the YouTube video. Look at the right. That's a broken up, cut up piece of content, <laughs> right? Now, take a look at this. If you guys followed and came from my personal page, you came from a story, you saw just this. This is my branded thumbnail. It's me in that chair, man. I love that sexy chair. It's me with my Help Me Rhonda show with that bright, shiny, metallic logo. It's the title. Do you see how that works? People are subconsciously deciding. Remember those 19 touches? They're making those 19 touches every time they see your content. But it's not you making 19 pieces of content. It's you making one pillar and syndicating it, breaking it up, cutting it up, sexifying it, I like to say, and then spreading it across all your platforms within the first 24 to 48 hours of the first content. And then what is it? It's then syndicating it all over again. You see how that works, guys? Because right now around the world, there's 7.6 billion people and they are consuming consistently amounts of content. Three billion of them right now, right, are using social media. And if we're not using and branding our content and allowing our brand to be seen, guess what? Someone else is doing it or someone else is picking up the pieces. You did all the heavy lifting with your live, with your pillar, all the heavy lifting. I'm doing all the heavy lifting right now. So now what happens? So I just let it go and I hope that people come back to me Heck no. If you know me at all, you're seeing my omnipresence. And it's not because I made 19 pieces of content today. I'm making one. And I'm taking this video, I'm syndicating it across all my platforms with branded, remember? Congruent postings, congruent branded content. So how do you guys do this? A lot of you guys are going, what? How do I even get this done? Or how can I even create that? Well, what I want to do is I want to invite you guys. We just started the 30 day challenge mastermind where I teach you all of these steps, how not, not only how to uh, organize your content, how to bring it together, how to select the right content, the timeframes, the outline, and how to syndicate it across all your platforms, utilizing lives and then busting it out and, and syndicating it across your platforms with branded content. And so I'm going to invite you guys, you can go to Swan links today and you can actually register for the 30 day challenge. It's a, it's our mastermind that we're running. We do live calls every week and you get a complete step-by-step -step what to do every day on how to get your brand in front of the right people, how to organize your content. Literally, I know most people are like, oh, it's thousands of dollars. I actually put it together for 99 bucks. You guys get my whole course. It's literally over $40,000 worth of, of my content, my process, exactly what I actually wrote inside of this book for Russell Brunson. So you guys can get in for 99 bucks. Remember, go to Swan Links. Uh, Larcy will drop it. But even more importantly, we're going to now show you guys how to syndicate. Anyone that's inside of my the 30-day mastermind, you guys are going to get access to my team on how to take your one pillar content like this show and turn it into 30 different pieces. I remember how we said, if you take those 21 pillar contents, it turns into 168 pieces of content. I mean, can you actually imagine having 168 videos for stories, for Facebook, for Instagram, for YouTube, for your, for your LinkedIn, for your, your email, right? On your blog post. That's a lot of content. And all you do is produce one video. Anyone that's inside of that group, you guys are going to get access on how to do that. You're going to get access to our syndication team where we can actually do it for you. We can take this one video and cut it up just like I did, make it sexy, turn it into your branded content. But you got to get inside of our 30-day group in order to get access to that system. Um, but again, guys, if you are seeing drops in your engagement and your reach, there's a reason why. So now this one here, you may be watching this live. Chances are you're actually watching the replay. Why? Because Facebook doesn't want us to see it anymore unless I syndicate it or unless I pay for it. So I'm gonna now show you guys how we can increase these views. And that means cutting it up, sending it out, and bringing more eyeballs to that one piece, the one pillar. So now I'm gonna give you guys all a little test. I want you to watch, go to right now, 
Instagram, go to type my name in Rhonda Swan, R H O N D A. And actually you'll notice cause it was on every one of my images. Was it at Rhonda Swan? Follow me on, on Instagram. And in the next 24 hours, you're actually going to see this show broken up. It'll be on my timeline. It'll be in my stories. It'll be in my Facebook stories. It'll be sent to you an email. If you're not in our email list, you can definitely get on our email list under Swan Links, right? You'll be sent an email. You're going to get on my email list. And what's going to happen? I'm going to start posting it. It's going to turn into a blog post. It's going to turn into an, a podcast. And I'm going to all do that in the next 24 to 48 hours. And I want to show you guys how you can do it. So remember, um, on next week is when we do a live Q&A inside of my 30-day mastermind. So literally, guys, it's only 100 bucks. So join. You're going to get for 30 days. You're going to get all the content, all the processes. But I'm going to show you guys how you can get access to help me having our team help do this and with you and for you. So you have 168 pieces of content after 30 days. 168 pieces of content. My God, there's only 365 days in the year, right? That means you literally have a half of a year of content that you can even repurpose again. And that's where and how we're going to start breaking the algorithms, creating omnipresence, and hitting those 19 tick boxes that says it shows your audience exactly what you do and how you do it. So guys, if this helped you all today, and this helped me run the show, gave you any insights on how to grow your audience, how to bring your brand, how to turn your brand into a sexy profit-making machine, let me know down below. And I also want you to write hashtag replay. Hashtag replay, if you're watching the replays, I want to see how many of you are actually watching the live or actually watching the replay. So if you're live, type in the comments, hashtag live. And if you're watching the replay, type in hashtag replay. Same thing on Instagram because I want to test what's going on. And I want to show everyone a case study of how many actually watched it live and how many more watched the replay. All right, guys, I'll leave you again with this. Swan links will take you on over there so you can join our 30-day mastermind. Get inside the group. You get our brand strategist answers Q&A every week. You get the complete course. You'll also get the complete book of exactly the steps, how to create omnipresence, how to bring your content out to the world, how to make your offers using webinars. I mean, I give it all to you guys. But I'll leave you this for my show. I'm going to see you next week. Our show's going to be po powerful next week. Same time, same place. I'm going to have an incredible guest. But I want to share with you guys this one. If you're going to create a brand, create a sexy brand. And if you're going to be anything, be unstoppable!